Hello YouTube, today we are going to be making brioche buns to go with our hamburgers. This is the first for us, so we're going to give it a go. So we're going to start out by making what's called a tangzong, tangzong paste. Uh, we've got four tablespoons of whole milk here. Putting that in a saucepan at low heat. We've got two tablespoons of bread flour. and two tablespoons of water. We're just gonna whisk this up. And it should turn into a kind of a thick paste like this. And that's kind of what we're looking for. So we're gonna take the heat off of this and we'll scrape this out and set it aside. Okay, we're gonna get the uh, yeast ready. So I have one half cup of whole milk. This is lactose free milk. So because there's no sugar in it, I'm gonna add just a little bit um, because the yeast need sugar. I've got one tablespoon of active dry yeast. I'm going to add that to the milk and I'm just going to give it a quick mix. And then we're going to let that sit for about five to eight minutes um, and wait for it to proof just to verify that the yeast is good. And then we'll start making our dough. All right, now we're ready to uh, start making our bread. So I've got two and a half uh, cups of bread flour here. Two and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar. One teaspoon salt. Set that up on here and we're gonna add our yeast mixture with the milk and the yeast which has got a nice head on it put on our dough hook and we're gonna let this incorporate for a couple minutes. We're gonna add in our paste that we made earlier.
We're gonna add, in addition to this, one egg plus one egg yolk. Now that our dough has gathered, I've got three tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon at a time and let it incorporate. Now that we've added all of our ingredients, we're gonna let this um, we're gonna let this mix for about eight minutes. So here we have our dough, which is very, you can feel it's very buttery, very soft. So I'm just gonna turn this into a dough ball, as you would with a pizza dough or anything else. And we're just gonna place this back in here we're gonna cover it up with a hot, wet towel, put it in our uh, oven on proof, and let it proof for about an hour, and we'll see you then. Okay, we have uh, pulled our dough out of our oven on proof, and it has more than doubled in size, so it looks good. We're gonna turn that out onto, well, I guess we'll knock it down a bit first. And I'm gonna get a dough scraper. Ooh. 
I'm gonna cut this into six pieces. So I'm just gonna chop it in half here. So I'm going to shake these into a ball or a roll. And we're gonna place these on some parchment paper on our baking sheet so we'll make six of these spread them out and then we'll let them proof for another hour or so all right so we rolled out our dough into some nice balls here um, we're going to cover this with plastic wrap and we're going to let it proof for another hour to two hours we're hoping that these are going to double in size once they're done, we are pretty much ready to uh, get them ready for baking at that point. So we will come back then. Woo. Welcome back. We have uh, just taken our buns out of the oven on proof. And you can see that they have very much doubled in size. In here, I have one egg and a teaspoon of whole milk. We're going to scramble this up real quick. And we're going to do an egg wash on these buns. I have my oven heated at 375 degrees. So we're going to egg wash these. I didn't quite expect these to uh, stick together the way they did. They grew more than I was expecting, which is good. I'm not gonna complain about that at all. And they're probably gonna grow even more as we bake them, as it activates the yeast a bit more. I'm expecting these to be very light and fluffy on the inside once they're baked. Hopefully, all the hard work has paid off. All right, so these are all egg washed. They look great. We're gonna stick them in the oven at 375. It's gonna be about 15 to 18 minutes. We'll have to keep an eye on them. We'll pull them out when they are golden. All right, we just took our buns out of the oven. They look really good. I've got some melted butter here and we're just going to paint on some butter on the top. We'll let them sit for a few minutes and they will be ready for our burgers. There's our brioche buns.
watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out our channel for some other new recipes. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see when we post new videos. Feel free to comment down below some new recipes you want us to try, and we'll see you next time.